The first option is to pull the image from Docker Hub. Docker Hub is a central repository that's used to store, manage, and share Docker containers. For this option, we have already built the Docker image and pushed it to this Docker Hub repository so it's ready for you to pull and use quickly. This is the Docker Hub website. The DTC has an organization account on Docker Hub in which it hosts its many containers. Here you can see many of the containers that DTC manages. And here is the WPS Wharf container. If we click on it, we can view more information, including the pull command that we'll demonstrate momentarily. And in the Tags tab, you can see the many versions and tags of this particular container. Back to the online tutorial, if we click the plus sign for option number one, we can see the procedures for pulling the image from Docker Hub. First, you'll want to make sure that the environmental variables progdir and progversion have been set as was described in previous steps to obtain the repository. If you need to reset these variables, go to the repository page and copy and paste the appropriate commands to set these variables. Now we're ready to pull the WPS image from Docker Hub by copying and pasting these commands into our AWS terminal window. This process will take a few minutes and once it completes, we can use the Docker images command to view the images that are available on our system. We'll pause briefly while this process completes. The docker pull command has completed, so now we can run a docker images command to view the images that are available on our system now. And we can see that we have the WPS image from DT Center Docker Hub that is now available on our system and ready to use for the case study examples in the remainder of this tutorial.